Okay, welcome to Blend for Web meets Eve Online. So I had finished my last Blend for Web project as far as I was going with it and looking for something else. So the why, why I picked it. So let's go to the video. All right, so let's send it over to uh, Satoni and Madden, and um, we'll see the, the banning thing come up, and you'll see the countdown going, and we'll see just how crazy these guys can get. Okay, I'm ready. So... One thing, they, they build up this whole, oh, we're going to watch live while they ban and pick. And how exciting it's going to be. Uh, yeah, and they missed the first ban. So that was, that's, you know, too bad for them. That's All right, let me interject real quick this. for you guys. When a team misses a ban, this is the one thing that breaks our thing. <laughs> Just a little <laughs> bit. So when a team misses a ban, uh, every once in a while, like one out of every ten tries, the banning tool will decide that uh, it's just really, really offended by it. So uh, we're gonna have to restart the banning tool real quick. Shouldn't be, wouldn't be too much. Still, a Vexer, powerful ship, lots of damage. Not as much tank, but an interesting choice and a very different choice from the prophecy and the Navitas we saw in the first round. Um, Though I am seeing uh, some commentaries, uh, some questions on the banning tool. As expected, with the first time we do this, you, you may see some... Uh... So, I watched this on replay, but I watched the second week uh, live, and they had the same problems then, too. And I tried to look at the videos on YouTube and Twitch and to find the specific examples I remember, but... Some challenges with the tool. So here's favor, I think a little here's an example of the confusing layout here not being I remember an example where when the tool was working uh, the commentator was confused by what was picked and what was banned because it was just you now it's just this list unless you got a 50 inch television screen you can't read any of this anyway oh a Castro pick okay I really love the Flanix team now they they should win. <laughs> just for banning the Kestrel in, in possibly a very uh, glitched scenario. But still, if you're going to ban something, you know, obviously banning the Kestrel is smart. I mean, look at that DPS. I'm scared of it, just on principle. Oh, it's not banned, right? It's picked the Flanix. Oh, but... that's right. Yeah, that's a pick. Although I, I'm almost 100% sure at this point that the, the tool is going to get restarted again. Uh, it wasn't. So, uh, another thing is... Uh... No interaction here when it is working things just pop up and then the commentator say something but the viewer doesn't know when it's gonna happen or what's happening now it just things pop up and uh, and then you have this long list of eight things and you can't read any of this anyway so all right, it sounds like we're going to head to the splash screen, so let's let's take it away. All right, guys, sorry about that. We do have some technical issues. Uh, either the banning tool has become self-aware and has decided it really loves Kestrels and Rifters, or we're having some just some browser compatibility issues with our teams. We're going to give it one more shot. So that was it, the browser compatibility issue. If we can't get it all ironed out, we made a few tweaks on the back end. Worst case, we'll just use it uh, pen and paper style, and we'll show up on screen. So I said, hey, I can do stuff with browsers, and allegedly that's supposed to be compatible. So this is what I came up with, a little demo. Red Captain, are you ready? Blue Captain, are you ready? Oh, that's really loud. Red Captain, make your first band.
Blue Captain, make your first band. Sorry about the volume, that didn't notice that before. Red Captain, make your second band. Originally, I was going to do this live with two browser windows open and just make the picks one after the other. What a nightmare. Blue Captain, make your second band. Oh, here's a little inset just showing what the Blue Captain sees. So, after Red make the pick, Blue will have time to add it to, you know, a Red band Captain, or a pick. Make your first deployment. And that's when they hit Ready. And I... Oh. Blue Captain, make your first deployment. I knew she was going to come in again. Uh, I did red in like two tries, but blue took me four. Blue Captain, make your second deployment. Would have helped to have these up now and up next indicators, but I added those in post because I didn't want to go back to the blender file. Red Captain, make your second deployment. It also means that these switch at odd times. It's not consistent. Like, hit done and it switched. Times when I hit ready or picking, Blue Captain, it. Captain, make your third deployment. Should have hidden the mouse. Red Captain, make your third deployment. It's a little distracting. Blue Captain, make your third band. Red Captain, make your third band. Blue Captain, make your fourth deployment. Red Captain, make your fourth deployment. Red Captain, make your last deployment. Blue Captain, make your last deployment. Now Captain, grab your ankles and kiss your ass goodbye because one of you ain't surviving this. Okay, so that's a little demonstration of it. Uh, here's the actual web page. Let me load it. So you start out, you pick your team. Let's go red. You get a little animation taking you there. There you go. So when you're ready, ready, I'm going to pick because I'm red. I got to ban something. Let's ban the vigil. Okay, I'm done. Now uh, my opponent gets to ban, and say the opponent bans the MOA. So, banned by opponent. So, that takes out of my inventory. Once I'm done with that, then I hit ready just to say, hey, I'm ready. Moderator says, okay, pick your next ban. Let's ban the uh, Telos. Right? It goes on like that.
Obviously, uh, a lot could be changed on all this, right? I just thought of a problem. I wonder if I hit that and then hit one of these. Yes. Anyway. Uh oh, things are going crazy now. I blew it. Okay. So. Pick, 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 pick. So there it is. Obviously, I don't know if you notice, everything has the same stats. Because I'm late. Um. Blender open. Let's see. Find Blender. Oh, there it is. Well, there it is. This is where, where you start out. over to here you pick blue right that'll be swapped out you pick frigates it brings in these guys all the frigates right. oh, here's something the uh, took me a while I wish I had the link handy for the post on how to make transparent materials it wasn't obvious at all So, they are, look at all these nodes. This is all the intro stuff, the basics, uh, the variables up there, and then each of the ship classes, frigates, destroyers, and on, and then Amar, Keldari, etc. Um, going really slow, there's so many nodes. Learned a few things like uh, if you accidentally have one of these reroutes copied on top of another, that throws things off. Also, uh, not a critical error, but I had four of these copied over four of them, and trying to find which four in all of these took quite a while. For someone who knew what they're doing, and again, you know. All credit to the coders who made up the EVNT tool and all that. I couldn't do it. I don't know what the hell they're dealing with. Um, I'm sure one of them could look at this and say, you know, give me an hour or two and I could write a script to do all that. But uh, there you go. But browser compatibility, you know. I don't know if this would work on a phone, but hey, why not? Introduce scripts and JavaScript, and I'm sure you could make it interoperable. But uh, me, I'm done. Unless, of course, once I start paying, I think I'm going to put a pin in this and finished. Well, thanks for coming. <laughs>